What are the possible causes of spotting in early pregnancy with twins? Hello and welcome to our video on the possible causes of spotting in early pregnancy with twins. In this video, we'll cover various reasons for spotting in the first trimester, including both normal and concerning causes. Remember, if you're experiencing spotting or any other pregnancy-related concern, consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. What is spotting? Spotting is light bleeding that occurs during pregnancy, and it's usually lighter in color and flow than a typical menstrual period. It can be common in early pregnancy, with about 20 to 30 percent of pregnant women experiencing it. However, it can be more concerning if it's persistent or heavy. Can twins cause more spotting? Yes, pregnancies with twins can sometimes result in more spotting due to increased hormone levels and the larger size of the developing placentas. This may cause more frequent or heavier spotting compared to a singleton pregnancy. What are the normal causes of spotting in early pregnancy with twins? Implantation bleeding One of the most common causes of spotting in early pregnancy is implantation bleeding. This occurs when the fertilized eggs attach themselves to the lining of the uterus, which can cause some light bleeding. This is generally considered normal and is not a cause for concern. Cervical changes during pregnancy, the cervix becomes more sensitive and prone to bleeding due to increased blood flow. Simple activities like sexual intercourse or a pelvic exam can cause light spotting. This is typically not a cause for concern and should resolve on its own. When should I be concerned about spotting in early pregnancy with twins? While some spotting can be normal, there are situations where it could indicate a more serious issue. It's important to contact your healthcare provider if you experience any of the following. Heavy bleeding Heavy bleeding, especially if accompanied by severe cramping, can be a sign of a miscarriage or ectopic pregnancy. It's crucial to seek medical attention immediately in these cases. Persistent spotting If you're experiencing persistent spotting, it could be a sign of a subchorionic hematoma. This is a collection of blood between the placenta and uterine wall, which can increase the risk of complications. Your healthcare provider may recommend additional monitoring and treatment in this case. Signs of infection If your spotting is accompanied by a foul smell, fever, or chills, it could indicate an infection. Contact your healthcare provider for evaluation and treatment. In conclusion, some spotting in early pregnancy with twins can be normal, but it's essential to monitor your symptoms and consult with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns. They can provide personalized guidance and care throughout your pregnancy.